Morning. Uh, I'm on my way to Warford Tadcaster. I just called into Top Cliff to have a look. Uh, it's pretty wild with the wind, like. Uh, I really want to fish somewhere sheltered if I can. There's a car here, so I'm going to pop down the river and have a chat with whoever's fishing. Okay, be back shortly. Right, uh, made the decision. <laughs> I'm staying here at Topcliff. Uh, by the way, it's Saturday, Saturday the 23rd of December. Uh, it's actually 11 degrees. Uh, there's no wind here. Yeah, guy's telling me there, didn't get his name, but uh, he's fishing. Cheese paste, he actually had a nice bite while I was there, but uh, he didn't get the fish on. Anyway, I don't know why I'm not confident for today, but if I'm river looks spot on, uh, if I'm going to blank anywhere, I may as well blank here. So, how negatives are there? <laughs> Can't fly the drone here. I'm going to get my gear down there, just fish one rod for starters. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, it'd be nice to get a fish for Christmas. Don't care what it is. Anyway, get my gear out. See you down the river. It's half an hour. Right, we're at Top Cliff. Uh, Kevin's next door. He just had a bite on cheese paste, but didn't get the fish yet. So, I was on my way to Tadcaster, as you know. Right, I'm going to fish one rod for now. Uh, I'm not getting a feeder. A couple of dendrobenas on the hair rig. Right, let's get in. <sighs> Lovely day, like. Yeah, uh, the time is <laughs> uh, 20 past nine, I was in. Right, uh, time's 10 to 10. I made a second rod up. I'm going to keep wearing my nap with maggot. i put some garlic spam on its side with uh, some breadcrumb to feed it. So, let's get a minute. See how that goes that. It's a lovely day. Hello Michael. This is a recording. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'll put you on the speaker mate. Give us a shout. I'm saying you, you can tell the uh, the camera what your channel is, and then I'll repeat it. All right, yeah, yeah. It's Mick Outdoors on YouTube. There's a lot of uh, fishing videos on there from a few years ago, pike fishing and that. Some decent spots on the uh, swale and the ewer and things, so go and check them out. I'm doing wild camping now, so if you're in there, have a look. But this year, I'll be back out with uh, Shane. And we'll be on the bank together, so I'll see you then. But give us a sub, go and give us a sub, because uh, we're always happy to receive more subscribers. Thank you very much. Right, I got, I've put the details up, mate. All right. Cheers, Shane. You start. Right. right. Catch you later, Michael. Till then, buddy. Till then. Till then. Till then. Here's my mate, uh, Mick Outdoors. His YouTube channel is. So you want to give him a shout? He's. Uh, he used to be all over, he used to carry my gear for me when I had a bypass, but now the poor bloke's uh, got a bit of a disability himself. So uh, his main hobby now is wild camping stuff. Give him a, give him a sub and I'll put his details uh, in the description, okay? That'd be really nice. Thanks very much. Right, back to fishing.
Anyway, uh, back to Mick. Good friend of mine, Mick. I actually met him uh, on his very peg when uh, I had less of a clue about the fish and he helped me out a great deal and uh, we got to become good mates over the years like I say he's carried my fishing gear for me I haven't been too clever uh, he's a proper outdoorsy type he goes all over on his bike or he did does a bit of wild camping does a lot of fishing he used to uh, hasn't had it uh, good lately he's had a couple of problems with his uh, kidneys and that so he's not so active now He's uh, slightly disabled, so it'd be nice to give him a sub for Christmas. Make outdoors. I'll put the details in the. Uh, I'll put some more details in the description. Okay. Thanks for that. Right, I've got Noel. Uh, I haven't seen Noel for a few years. He's going to set me up with uh, the meat rig. So fingers crossed. Any help appreciated? Right, well, I've just made a, another hook link with a large hook on. I'm going to go and see Noel, see if he'll show me how to uh, hook that meat. I should have seen you do it for me. Keep on sat now. Keep that on my knee to keep the weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't pull it off. Oh, yeah, oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, that. Right. Cut your meat according with the same shape and all that. But, so you can get it through the middle. Right. As long as your meat's hard, you don't want to be soft meat. Don't blame me if it gets snagged up and the nose box out. <laughs> oh, well, it? Yeah, does Rushy says we use a longer tail? I saw Rushy that one out of Flint and at Colin. Right. It's that bottom peg number one peg, so we'll get in trouble out of it. Right, cheers to that, Noel. I'll, uh, I'm going to cast this out now. <laughs> so I've, never, uh, I've never hooked my meat. My nose just showed me. Bring a hook like eye first, put it like in a wedge shape. I'm going to give it a go. Try that one out. Eh? I see it untangle this mess. Speed chat to Kevin. Kevin and Peg won. Uh, it's his first time out this season. And his, uh, his stamina is a bit weak. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's had enough. So I'm going to up sticks here and do it to Peg one. It's a bit more spacious for two rods. So uh, we get cracking up. Put a lot smaller hook on. Oh dear. Rushing about with a barbed hook. That ain't going to come out easy. Bloody hell, ouch! What am I going to do? managed to get a bad hook on my finger and that was bloody painful. What a state that was. Uh, just about to cast in here and I got a bad hook in my finger. Uh, I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Had a word with Kevin. He says you're going to have to grit your teeth and use your forceps. So I had to, uh, had to pull it back out with my forceps and I screamed like a little girl. Uh, Oh my god, I don't like the sight of blood. But uh, yeah, bit of a nasty one. Get that bit some gun, what's it on it when you get on there? Bet or.
Kev's helped me with a bit of a temporary, uh, <laughs> give me some wipes to clean it. Cheers Kev. Uh, I think the bleeding stopped now. So, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a bruise there now like, but that was painful. Yeah, <laughs> when we doing that again, I can help it. Uh, well I'm in peg one now anyway. Uh, Kev's just gone, he had a cup of tea and a chat. I can't believe how spacious this peg is now. It's been butchered a bit, right? Uh, most of this willow has gone. Anyway, fingers crossed we get a bite there. Bit of a bruise on that now, like. Right, we're on 10 to 1. I'm going to put fresh bait on, now that the pain's eased in my, uh, <laughs> in my pulley finger. Right, uh, put fresh maggot on and a, a bigger maggot feeder. I think that's cue for a steak bake. That'll cheer me up, figure out my finger for a bit. <laughs> Cheers. Next time I might try some of that. Robin Red luncheon meat. Got a bit of a sniff to it like. I'm going to put that on next, some Robin Red luncheon meat on a hair rig. Like mid spring. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's just after that last two. Still no action. So I'm gonna try and but soft hook bait. They're quite soft and they go uh, straight on the hook. That's how that is. Try that next. There you go. Jacket, this bit of light here, yeah, wouldn't it be? I have new gloves there, eh? <laughs> very nice, uh, and these are the ones with the, the finger and thumb, well my thumbs are a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit different but yeah, not a bad fit really, put my fingers up. Time um, now is uh, 20 to 4. Got the gloves on, it's a bit nippy.
place of Ian Lake. Ian from Selby just sent me there. She's in. Selby <laughs> <Salve> tosser. <laughs> Sit tight, five, six minutes and then I'm packing up. Last cast. Uh, I feel a fresh soft halibut hook be on again. Try that. In a intended lake, but it's uh, just gone ten to four. Uh, that's my last cast. I'm gonna start slowly packing up. Uh, it's quite cold now, no sign of any fish activity. Uh, another one. Uh, well, that was my last cast. No action today, apart from the uh, the hook in the finger, the painful hook in the finger. Uh, barbless hooks from now on. The tight end rods are going to move, so I'm going to call it a day very soon. Clock. I think that's my ticket to go. Well, it's a lovely early evening now. Right, it's after four now. I'm going to start packing up, uh, get home, hop back. Nice food, Indian takeaway now, I think. And a couple of cold Guinness. Uh, never mind, another blank uh, to add to the list of many. Hopefully, I'll see you out on the bank uh, sometime soon. Uh, have a great Christmas, and have a brilliant new year. Thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. See you on the bank soon. Enough for now.